Hello, everyone. And on this talk, I'll be presenting uh, our Nova algorithm called MaxNova. What is the purpose of the Nova sequencing in, gen in general? The purpose of it is uh, that you want to retrieve a sequence from a MSMS scan without the use of the library. Ideally, we want to get a full sequence, but uh, whenever possible, it is sufficient to get an incomplete sequence stack. When the Nova sequencing is useful, it is useful, for example, in SNP search, HLA, ancient peptide search, or any application where it is problematic to construct a library. This is, as you all know, a typical MSMS spectra from CID or HCD fragmentation. It contains B and Y ions, and this is what most of the de novo sequencing algorithms are tuned for. Note that some amino acids cannot be distinguished by de novo due to the same mass, like this is the case for leucine or isoleucine. MaxNova is a spectrum graph-based de novo sequencing algorithm, meaning that it represents this MSMS spectra in the form of a graph, and this way it retrieves the sequences from it. It is integrated into MaxQuant, and it uses a set of scores to select the best possible sequence. This algorithm uh, is hybrid, and it can sequence both full length uh, sequences and partial sequences. The first step of the NOVA is the same as for the library search. We look for isotope patterns in our, uh, yeah, we de isotope uh, our patterns in the, in the scan and move our monoisotopic peaks to charge state one because you can retrieve a charge from the isotope pattern. Later, this uh, pre-processed uh, scan, we represent in the form of a graph where each node corresponds uh, to the peak and the distance between nodes corresponds to MZ distance between the peaks. We also add four additional nodes corresponding to N and C terminus from the left and the right side. This way, we can construct sequences uh, from B series going from left to right and from Y series coming from right to left. Note that we, when we construct sequences, we only take nodes coming from a single ion series. So we do not mix ions from B and Y sequences in this B and Y series in the same sequence. Uh, after constructing nodes, we construct edges. Uh, one can put an edge between the nodes if the MZ distance between those nodes corresponds to MZ of one or two amino acids. Why do we allow two amino acid steps? Sometimes, uh, the spectra has missing peaks or noisy peaks. So it, as a compromise to increase the number of complete sequences, uh, we allow MaxQuant to skip this missing or noisy skip and make a guess to the uh, second furthest node. Like uh, in this case, you can see that we have a HV step. Know that uh, when we do those two amino acid steps, we cannot distinguish uh, the position between those uh, two amino acids. Um, during the recursive search, MaxQuant constructs all the possible uh, graphs and edges between uh, all the possible edges between the nodes, resulting in multiple sequence, complete and incomplete. Uh, from all of those, we then select the best sequence by using a scoring algorithm. And to understand how the scoring is done, we first should go through all the comp 
the components of the row score. And the first component is a direct path score. It is defined as a sum of scores uh, defined on edges and nodes. Uh, each node contribution is intensity dependent, meaning that if a peak that corresponds to the node is prominent and higher than the neighboring peaks, this node gets a reward. If a node corresponds to a peak that is noisy and has lesser intensities than all the surrounding peaks, then this node gets a penalty. Edges contribution is dependent on the number of possible edges from the same place. Say we can construct only one edge from a particular node, then we're sure that this is the right path to go. However, if we can construct, say, five edges from the same place, then we're not so sure anymore. Uh, and this edge, uh, and whatever edge we would choose uh, would get lesser score than like a single possible edge. Note that from a single place, it is much easier to construct more two amino acid steps than one amino acid steps. Thus, we penalize two amino acid steps compared to one amino acid step. Uh, pathless contribution is easy. It rewards longer pathways because we are interested in more of complete sequences. Uh, I said that we uh, construct a pathway using only nodes from a single ion series. However, we do not discard information from the complementary ion series. In fact, we check when we constructed a direct pathway, we check for complementary ions to this direct pathway. If we find such an ion, this uh, complementary ion will affect our score in the same de intensity dependent ma manner as the direct node. Uh, another uh, interesting thing about complementary ions is that they can actually resolve our two amino acid step if we find uh, complementary ion on the, at the place of missing ion in the direct pathway. Prote protease score is uh, so easy. It checks if uh, our sequence edge, our sequence ends are compatible with the protease we used. A2 score checks for the presence of A2 ion in the spectrum and rewards it. Water ammonia loss score also rewards the presence of water and ammonia loss, loss ions. And that's it for the raw score. We then wanted to assess the accuracy of our de novo approach. And for that, we used the data set containing single shot and fractionated HeLa samples. First thing we did is for same MSMS scans, we uh, plotted the correlation between Andromeda and the ROS score. And the correlation is pretty high, which gives an in us an the insight that the ROS score of the NOAA is well suited for retrieving information from a single MSMS scan, the same way as Andromeda. Uh, for the further analysis, we uh, developed, not developed, but used a precision coverage approach. For that, as a ground truth, we defined peptides identified with Andromeda in single shot and fractionate experiments with Andromeda score higher than 100. Then uh, correctly identified in our peptides would be those that we can find in our ground truth. From that, we define precision as the number of correctly identified de novo proteins, de novo peptides, compared uh, to number of all identified uh, sequences by the de novo, and the coverage is the number of correctly identified sequences by the de novo divided by the number of all sequences in the ground truth over here. Note that each point in the curve is plotted for a certain threshold of the score. So if we take um, 
high threshold, then we get high precision, but low coverage. If we then lower the value of the score, we will increase the coverage and lower precision. At first, we plot our raw score on this uh, plot and the performance wasn't ideal. And using, again, analogies to the library search, um, final peptide list is not based only on Andromeda score. We actually uh, calculate posterior error probability and do FDR. Uh, so using only raw score in the de Nova would be analogous to using library search without FDR. And that's why we developed a set of normalized scores for de Nova. Now, first type is called normalized score, and this is the raw score divided by precursor mass. Complete score is uh, just normalized score filtered for complete sequences. The gap score describes how far is our best identification from second. Uh, the ranking sum of the gap score and complete score uh, consti constitute the combined score. Uh, we also checked uh, the contribu uh, different contributions to the raw score, and we can see that in high precision area, uh, A2 score matters the most, while uh, for the coverage, complement score matters the most. Uh, we further compared our de novo algorithm to other de novo algorithms, and we found that de novo performs most closely to peaks. And while uh, PIX has better coverage, uh, the NOVA, uh, Max NOVA, has a better overall precision, as you can see from precision coverage plot. We also checked how complete and incomplete sequences uh, perform on uh, precision coverage plot. And here with uh, green means uh, single shot samples, red means fraction samples, solid line only only complete sequences, and dashed line means complete and incomplete sequences with length higher than seven amino acids. And you can see that um, the precision, uh, the curve is similar up to precision 0 0.8 which uh, here on the second plot translates in normally score around 10. And um, however, after precision 0 0.8, those curves diverge, meaning that when we, um, when we're looking for uh, complete sequences, there may, may be a bit of a trade-off between uh, for precision, while if we allow for incomplete sequences, they um, get more optimized pathway in the graph, which corresponds, to, for example, only for single step amino acid steps, single amino acid steps, and this will increase precision. Uh, also check the mass distribution for incomplete sequences, and since this is log scale, uh, it's unsurprising that uh, majority of incomplete sequences uh, gather in the low mass distribution. And here we have uh, Andromeda versus the Nova sequence length, and we see the cloud of incomplete sequences where uh, Andromeda found um, higher sequence length compared to the Nova. But uh, here's a good correlation on the diagonal, which uh, corresponds to the um, to sequences that agree between Andromeda and de Nova. Lastly, we also analyzed uh, samples from team stuff. And firstly, we the performance again was not that great. But then we checked MS, MS scans and we found out that TeamStuff 
files have a lower MZ dynamic range than those of Orbitrap. Namely, uh, the MZ range starts from 200 deltons and Max Quant to go from zero to 200 has to make a uh, two amino acid step. And in TeamStop, you will see that all the C terminus will have uh, those in uh, consistency in uh, for the location of two last amino acids. So if we do not account for this, uh, for position of two plus two posi last two amino acids, then um, the precision gets much higher. And this represents, well, technical limitation on the NOVA for team stuff samples. Lastly, I want to show where you can enable the NOVA search in MaxQuant. You go to global parameters and identification tab scroll down and you will check the Nova sequencing and results of the Nova sequencing you will find in MSMS scans table. 